So I know I haven't uploaded in uh, almost two weeks now. I think it's almost two weeks. It'd be, I think it's two weeks tomorrow on the 3rd of June. Um, but I have a good reason for it. Uh, I had become ill recently. Uh, I had gotten diverticulitis, I think it's pronounced. Uh, it's kind of just an infection in your intestinal tract. It's kind of hard to explain. Uh, what all goes about it, but I'd become ill with that on the Saturday that I stopped uploading. Uh, I had been to the local doctor to see what's going on, but uh, most of the time when people get diverticulitis, uh, it's usually on the left side or something like that, and so it's easier to diagnose, but mine was on the right side right near my appendix and so the doctor in my local area had said that she would feel kind of negligible if she just put me on some anti antibiotics and sent me on my way and if it was my appendix then you know it would have been bad for me uh, so she recommended that I went to the hospital to get a CAT scan so I went to the hospital and got a CAT scan on Tuesday of that week I had gotten that done and I have to tell you one thing that machine the uh, the cat scan machine is definitely definitely a little bit intimidating I wouldn't say scary but more intimidating than anything um, they had put this liquid inside of me I think I can't remember if it's iodine or betadine they put this in liquid inside of me to make my veins kind of in a sense, glow through the CAT scan, uh, and the guy had warned me it's going to be a uh, it's going to be a very warm sensation, and so I was preparing for it, and it, it was quite possibly like the weirdest feeling I've, I had ever felt when it came to being just doing something at a hospital or any kind of medical thing. It started. I felt this warm, kind of almost hot sensation going through my left arm, then I felt it going to my chest. And then I felt it hit the back of my throat and I tasted just slightly and it was the most disgusting thing I had ever tasted. Uh, and then I felt it reach my fingertips and my other arm. And then I felt it hit the bottom of my feet and so I was like, okay, yeah, it's, it's definitely in my system now. Uh, and then I felt the room start to get like pretty hot. Like I almost started sweating because it was just really, really hot in there because of that. But I had gotten that done. They had come back. I had to do urine sample because I had to make sure my kidneys were okay. I have to say, doing the urine sample is probably one of the, uh, I wouldn't say weird, but awkward things. Because it's like, you go to the bathroom with the cup, you come out of there with the cup full of pee, and then what happened, normally the doctor just takes it and goes on, but my doctor, she was busy uh, trying to do something else for me, and she had told me just to leave it in the room, leave it in the, uh, the room that I was in. And at the time, I had my mom and my dad, and then... Uh, some friends that are uh, my friend's parents who was dating my sister so it's kind of like just a whole family affair uh, they had uh, come up there because the mother of my friend actually works at the hospital and so she was already there and then I guess her husband came up there for lunch and you know they just came in there to say hi and lighten the mood a little bit but I had missed work for that Monday up until Thursday and on Friday I started to feel a little bit better so I went to work uh, took my medication supposedly my medication uh, has a side effect of giving me very bad headaches up to a migraine and I'm sure most people know what a migraine is and most people have experienced a migraine they're not fun at all in any way <laughs> They're definitely one of the worst feelings you could ever have when it comes to uh, something in your head. And uh, I had taken that medication without realizing that that would cause it for me. And I went to work and had a migraine almost all day, but I knew I couldn't leave work because I needed to get some money for my paycheck. 
even though it's only one day. Um, but I had toughed it out throughout the day with my hurt, you know, side. Because, it, it, like, the pain, it wasn't, like, sharp in my body to where I'd feel it, it just standing still. But anytime I bent over or lifted my leg up or anything like that, I could definitely feel that the pain was there and it really hurt to do that. And to add a cherry on top, since I was bedridden for a couple of days with a fever of 100 and almost 3, uh, my back started to hurt me a little bit because I have a mild form of scoliosis and so I was all just messed up at that time. But I'd gone back to work that Friday and then Memorial Day was that Monday and uh, I had to go on a pretty strict diet of no, you know, no chocolate, no nuts, no seeds, nothing like that. Nothing that could get stuck anywhere in my uh, stomach or my intestinal tract, anything like that. They had to make sure that that was all clear and good to go. And so I couldn't even have anything spicy, which sucked because most most things have a little bit of spice to it, and so it may taste better. But uh, I had gone back to work, and then Memorial Day happened, and I started to feel a little bit better throughout the Memorial Day. And then that this week right now, it is the 2nd of June on a Friday. And it's not there anymore, but the only time I ever feel that it's there is whenever I'm laying down on my side. It kind of feels like something's in there. And it feels like it's just like heavy enough to where it like drops down just a little bit. I can feel it. But aside from that, I'm doing better. Uh, I got some pretty nice things in the works right now for uh, me as a YouTuber and I've noticed that I've grown a whole lot recently and I I really 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 appreciate it whether you're coming from the watch page or you're coming from recommendations or from people sharing it or from uh, Forever Grips I really genuinely appreciate all the support I've been getting recently and uh, yeah I just wanted to give you guys a quick little heads up about what's been going on with me why I've been MIA with uh, my videos recently and yeah I should be back up to doing daily uploads starting today or yeah the third this Saturday